We thank you, God, that we have the ability to remember. And we are here today to never forget to remember those that lost their lives on that tragic night so many years ago. Dear God, we are here to realize that we are here to support, encourage, and to celebrate the lives of those that were lost. The image of Harry Bertoia's beautiful work of art evokes many different human responses from all of us. Uh, from the newest students, maybe it's just a place to meet in the courtyard, and for others it may be a landmark on the map. If you've heard the story of the film, or know someone who's told you that story personally, the color of the structure may be a little different. But if you were here in the fall of 1970 on this campus or in this community, the presence of this structure may wash over your very soul. 36 years ago, Marshall University made that commitment to always remember those who perished and to never let their memories die. Today, we reaffirm that commitment. We solemnly vow to do what is necessary and to affirm the memories of those who lost their lives, and we do so with great resolve. And I am certain, as you, that Harry Bertoia would be proud to see how much this fountain means to the sons and daughters of Marshall. And I know he'd be delighted in this restoration work, which we celebrate today. We must never forget those we lost in 1970. Indeed, through this fountain's waters, they shall live on in the hearts of their families and friends forever. We have one more important item on our agenda today. I ask that you turn your attention to the Memorial Fountain as we hear from Blake Racer, a Marshall University vocal major who will lead us in our alma mater. Marshall, gracious alma mater, we thy name revere. May each noble son and daughter cherish thine honor, dear. May thy lamp be ever bright, guiding us to truth and light. As a beacon or dark water, this is for thee a prayer. May the years be kind to Marshall, may she grow in fame. May her children fail her never, true to her beacon flame.